Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of the fabulous Catalyst magazine. Now, I recorded this video right before the Super Bowl, so I don't know who won, but I hope that your favorite team won, and I hope that Lady Gaga sang your favorite song, because that would make for a great start to the week now, wouldn't it? All right. I'm going to try to make it a good start for the week too. I'm going to share with you an AutoCAD tip that has to do with accessing your content really, really quickly. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this is, and this tip is for those of you who are really good at keyboarding. You excelled in your keyboarding class. Or for those of you who have mastered the two-finger action on the keyboard. <laughs> and you want to be super efficient. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I, for example, I would like to insert a rocking chair, all right? A block of a rocking chair. I could go in the insert command, and then I could drop the dreaded list down, and there is my rocking chair, okay? All right, so that's pretty efficient. I could insert it that way. I could go to the insert tab on the ribbon. I could go to my galleries, and I could use the dreaded slider bar, and I can go find my block of the rocking chair, and I can drag and drop it, or if I'm good at typing, I can just type in chair. You can type in content at the command line. A lot of people don't know that because that was just added in in the last few releases. And if you take a look in the lower right hand corner of my screen, you'll see it says, hey, did you want to insert a block of a chair? Absolutely. And then I can just click on that and then I can drag and drop my rocking chair into place in my drawing file. All right, that is efficient. Can't tell me that's not fast and efficient. All right, so what else would I like to do? Um, I would like to change my current layer to plant. Now I'm gonna type in the word plant. I want you to see that I have a block named plant. If I move my cursor over that, it says, oh, would you like to insert this rubber plant? <laughs> and, or would you like to change your current layer to plants? I'm gonna click on the option for layer and you'll see that it changed my current layer to plants. Wow, that's efficient. I like that too. That's for those of you who like to type. It's up to you. All right. You can also grab content related to hatch patterns, or you can also very quickly change a variety of styles, and I'll show you what your options are in just a second. But if I wanted to really quickly drop an Escher hatch pattern into my join file, I can type in Escher, and you'll see on here that it assumes that I wanted to do a hatch pattern of Escher. It goes into the hatch command, and it assumes I want to do the Escher pattern and allows me to very quickly drag and drop that Escher pattern right into place. I'm not the right scale factor, so I'm not gonna do it right now. But nevertheless, very, you can see on the screen, that's what it wants to do. Very, very efficient for those of you who are fast with the keyboard. So you can access all this content straight from the command line. You, Escher is not a command name, right? But it is content that AutoCAD will recognize at the command line, as long as you have this one setting on. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. You're gonna go into this dialog box called input search options. You don't have to remember that. As soon as you type in input, it's gonna take you into the correct dialog box. It's a mouthful. Input search options, there's a lot in here. Uh, over on the right hand side of the screen, this is what I want you to care about. Search content at the command line. Make sure that is on, otherwise everything I just showed you will not work. But this is the type of content that it will search for. It'll search for blocks, for layers, for hatch patterns. I showed those three to you. It will also allow you to quickly change your text style, your dimension style, and your visual style as long as you have this on. All right, so make sure you have that on. Now there's a whole lot more to this dialog box. Do you play your cards right? I'll come back in, in two more weeks and I'll show you the rest of this dialog box. How are you going to sleep waiting for more information about the input search options dialog box? I have no idea. I don't know. I hope your team won for the Super Bowl so that you can, in fact, sleep at night while you wait for two more weeks. <laughs> All right. Try typing in content at the command line. You will go super, super fast. I will see you back here in two more weeks.